returns to Norwalk Summit Motorsports Park, the house that the Baders built. Uh, appreciate the video from Monday Morning Racer on YouTube. Check him out. He's also the host of the CompetitionPlus.com Power Hour. Um, snagged this off of his YouTube channel uh, earlier in the week. Some highlights from, I believe, two years ago at Norwalk. But man, first and foremost, American Door Slammer Challenge. We haven't spent any time talking about this. But have you guys looked at the PDRA schedule? Listen to this. I mean, they've done not all of them, but listen. Uh, Door Slammer Derby in Bowling Green. I love that name. We, we've got to make a bigger deal out of that name. American Door Slammer Challenge, another great one. I mean, this is a great, great name for a race. Um, in July, they've got the Summer Shootout. They also have in September Drag Wars. I mean, they have some traditional drag racing names like the Northern Nationals, right? The Pro Stars event. They also have the North vs. South Shootout. I love that these races have themes. I think we need to uh, we, we need to make that a bigger deal. We need to talk about that more often. These great names. Do you agree? Like it kind of stands out versus the Ohio Nationals. Yeah, I think it's a <laughs> it's good for PDR. Good marketing. Uh, one more way to stand out. And I really only just now put together that Door Slammer Derby is in Kentucky, and this referring to the Kentucky Derby. I just thought it sounded cool. Like I had not made that connection. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. dion has been either. on this one for a hot minute. He's either. been yeah, Dion was like, "Oh dude, that's a great name for a race." And it really is, and I do think Dion were you on that? Oh, he's Yeah, mad. I really like that. It's a great <laughs> I, great name. I mean, I've always wanted to go to the Kentucky Derby and that's probably the closest I'll ever get is that race. So <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> the the derby you you want. Uh, and it's like the Kentucky versus the Derby, yeah. you got, and it's you're at the PDRA race work. The yeah, Derby, like you Instagram versus reality. Oh, that's, that's, that's it's funny. the wish, yeah. the wish version of the Kentucky how, Derby. How it's how it started versus how it's going. <laughs> I will tell you, there is a huge door slammer contingent in Ohio that people sleep on. I've said this before on the show, but I think we have more subscribers right now in Ohio than any state in the union. There is a stronghold of drag racers in Ohio. There's a ton of cities there. The IHRA uh, was there. I mean, that's... NPK will be there this weekend. NPK will be up, there, right? uh, yep. yeah, not coming this up, weekend, but no, next, next right? weekend. I think next In weekend. Columbus. Yeah, yeah so off. Ohio, I mean, remember every time the ADRL would go to Norwalk, which uh, a race that your dad won a couple of times, uh, Mike Charles Carpenter put the 55 in the winter circle there at the ADRL Pro Nitrous uh, shootout a couple of years, maybe two in a row. I actually think you guys won it. Yeah, you did I, win that race two years in a row. I can't remember exactly how it went, but we, yeah, we love racing there, man. And that, I, I think if you ask my dad or you ask a lot of racers, that's their favorite track. Really, before Z Max or before, you know, uh, a lot of the customer service and, and super track vibes took over uh, or, or were kind of like the, the thing or, or what set your track apart, Norwalk was doing that before it was cool. And, and I think that they're, they're the originators of fan friendly of all the staff dressed to the nines and everyone there is trained and specializes in what they're doing, takes pride in what they're doing. And it starts with the Bader family on down. So it's, it's really the original super track in my opinion. It's a very, very nice facility. And I mean, it speaks a lot to the cleanliness of some of these tracks. Like I know go, I mean, I, I know Norwalk is like my home track, but like the cleanliness of that track is like far none. Like the, the, the grass, nice. they got like the, the grass nicest grass. Cut. Yeah. On the planet, like in just in, you know, in the pits, right in the middle yeah, of the pits is like around. a big, like a, like a curb and with this like nice median landscaping. Almost. Yeah. Median. Yeah. 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 And they're like every couple hundred feet, like separating the walk and stuff. It's in, there's concessions there sometimes. Like it, they just, it's set up completely different, I feel like, than most of the tracks we go to. And it's a pleasure to go there, really. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite places to go. I don't even mind, like, I've had people tell me that there's, like, fly into Akron, right, Dion? That's where, like, the, the people that are in the know fly into when they go to <laughs> Norwalk. Yeah. But I always flew into Cleveland and made that drive. How far is that? Like, not quite two hours, maybe? Or? Yeah, it's like an hour, hour, hour and a half. Yeah, hour, hour and, hour and a half. And yeah. I always, like, in, for whatever reason, I enjoyed that drive. I typically made it late at right night. Right along Lake Erie. Yeah, right along Lake Erie, roll into Sandusky, midnight, check into the Kalahari Resort and Water Park or whatever the hell it's called, and get ready to go to the drag strip. But I think make, that- Make all of your calls, send all your texts, download all your data before you get to the track. Because <laughs> you will not be sending one. However, probably- That's one how they biggest, immerse you. 
probably one of my biggest accomplishments in life is I uploaded an, an entire issue <laughs> of Drag Illustrated from uh, my laptop using a uh, what do you call it? A Verizon hotspot. A, hotspot. A, a Verizon oh, hotspot. Like a jetpack at Norwalk. In like 2000, what was that, Wes? Seven, eight, nine? Seven, eight, nine. And I, I remember you were worked. not I, thrilled about it, I can't to be believe honest. it worked. And it's still one of my, one of my most uh, crowning achievements. It was a real moment, man. And that track, I want to say, we were talking earlier in the show about like Denny Hamlin and some of the critiques that he's been uh, thrusting on the NASCAR world. One thing that he keeps going back to, man, is the responsibility on these tracks and Norwalk, the, the team there, Bader and company, uh, the family, everybody that's involved with that track. They're a fantastic example of living up to the expectations that exist in 2022. People expect a lot these days, right? I mean, I, I think the days of going to the racetrack first thing in the morning and staying till midnight or one o'clock in the morning, those days are long gone. There are certainly hardcores that will fight that battle. I think there's four of them here on the screen right now, but if we're going to grow and this sport is going to continue to attract new fans, we are going to have to address the experience at the facility, right? Give these people something else to do. Give them dollar a pound ice cream. Give them uh, beautiful grassy areas to walk around. Give them because that's just part of the experience, man. Uh, people nowadays expected to be waited on hand and foot. They want a concierge to bring them popcorn, right? I mean, that's <laughs> what people expect at this stage in the game. And I'm not saying every here. race fan is that way, but <laughs> I do think that these career. guys are leading the charge. They're leading the charge for Absolutely. customer service, um, service with a smile, uh, paying attention to detail. They do a fantastic job. And I think the PDRA is a great fit for Norwalk Raceway, um, or excuse me, Summit Motorsports Park. It was a little bit of a, a date in me a little bit, I think. <laughs> Norwalk Raceway. It's like Norwalk we saw, Raceway. We saw Tyler like... Crossno, uh say that this is one of his favorite tracks as well you know so i mean speaking of proud moments let's give up a, let's give it up for nate van wagon hosted oh, yeah. a long time oh, yeah. alongside scotty gore the the second ever episode of pdra live uh they hardly got a word in edgewise with tyler crossno on the mic as well um i almost sent tyler a text to uh to take a breath um because he was on a roll but i was like who am i to talk who am I to talk? Right? Oh man. Um, I had the message typed out and I thought, oh, I'm asking for trouble. That's because, some good that's some yeah. good uh self-reflection right there. Probably it, it was. I was like, yeah. who who am I to talk? You know, we're making strides. <laughs> we're making big progress, man. They were talking about uh picking winners. I think it would be fun to do that here momentarily. Let's go down and we'll end the show on this. Um I'm gonna start with Dion. I'm not gonna include you. You're you you are I have a little bit of PDRA experience. Uh, who's going to win Pro Nitrous? Um, probably Tommy Franklin. Okay, good. J JT? Yeah, I like that. Tommy? Yeah. You're just going to fall you, in I, line? I, I, yeah, I, I, know, yeah. I know who you're going to say, so I'm going to go against it. So, <laughs> Who do you think I'm going to say? <laughs> Halsey. Yeah. Jimmy Winlights <laughs> is his name. <laughs> Jimmy Winlights. <laughs> Jimmy yeah, Winlights is his name. Opposite of you, no matter what, you know. I can't yeah, bet I, if we if we go the same. Yeah, I know. I'm glad. I'm going, uh, I'm going Jay Cox. Oh, Ooh. I like I, that. Okay. Qu question, is Jay Cox due or is Jay Cox due? He is due. Yeah, he is. He's, he's due. due for sure. Um, he, he's absolutely due. I think that uh, I've heard some secret squirrel stuff that he's been testing a lot. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see him in the winner's circle uh, come Saturday night. How about Pro Boost? Uh, we'll throw it back down to you, Dion, if you want to participate. Um, let me, I, I want to pick, uh, Melanie Salemi. Oh, great reference. And str she, she's been running pretty well this year. <sighs> she obliterated the record at the right? season opener, like six times right? in a row. Um, and she's, she's another one Brittany that's Force doing. Is doing. Yeah, man. It's she's true story Force of, of PDRA for real. So Melanie I, Salemi I in the to... side piece, Chevy Camaro. It would be cool to see her in the winter circle this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Um, how about, uh, you JT? I hate to go with all of Dion's picks here, but no, you know. man. JT and I can be a team. We, yeah. We'll be a team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys could be DT. operate as one. I do yeah. make y'all bunk DT. up a lot. You DT. Know? <laughs> DT. Oh, my God. DDT, like the old pro wrestling move. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mike, how about you in Pro Boost? Tutoro. Yeah. Mm. Okay. He's yeah, dudes on a roll. Dude. Yeah. Todd I hope Tutoro. we see a Tutoro. There's so many good races over there, though. It's hard to pick. 
It really is, and you piss off a lot of people with these picks, man. You, you, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, you, yeah. you get go ahead and mad. just put your phone on silent right now. Yeah, uh, I do <laughs> think I, I Todd Tuttero. The dude is. I, I'm just. I think I'm happy for him, and I I am enjoying seeing him have this success. He's winning in a lot of different ways: winning as a driver, winning as a crew chief, um, winning as like an engine builder or a drivetrain provider, right? Via WYO Motorsports. I'm just happy for him. Brad Schmidt has been his crew guy for a hundred years. That's, it's YO YO Motorsports. YO okay YO Motorsports. YO, YO Road is the road oh, where yeah. his shop is, which is actually like the next road over from Farmington Dragway. You didn't drive me by there. I wish we would have drove know, by there man. a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I know, right? It's literally like when you pass Wyo Road, next road is Farmington Dragway. It's cool to see uh, some different combinations showing up in Pro Boost, right? Not showing up, but showing up in the winner circle because that was something uh, Corey Swanstrom, uh, big countries in the comments right now, picking Daniel Ferris or Jason Lee to win PDRA Ooh, yeah. Pro Boost. And yeah. it's like these, the centrifugal yeah. supercharger combination has been so dominant over there that it is cool to see uh, some roots and screw blowers in the conversation, screw blowers uh, uh, primarily. I guess let's do pro, extreme pro stock. And then we'll. I'm going to start this one, Dion, since you got the other oh. two picks. Okay, fair. Oh, all right. okay, okay. All right. Well, uh, what if I, our pick is my same. dad's coming? Huh? I'm going to find out. You, you got to go with you got to go same. with me now. I went with you. You better I'm, pick I'm the going, right I'm pick. I'm going Giant Pacino. Boom! We are teammates. See? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Bam! Man in orange. Man, was that was going to be Johnny my pick. As well. huh? So now I don't know if I've got to change it or not. Let me. You got to change it because if three of us pick him, that puts a lot of pressure, right? Let me. That's quite a bit of pressure. No, I was also Don't. gonna select Johnny. See? I, I, I think so I, I think I'll have to I, go like JR Car if we're not going if I'm not going Placino, I'm going JR Car. Yeah, it's good. Nate there. Nate Van Wagnen chose JR Carr as well last night. Another guy that's due perpetually at the front of the line, right? Uh, extremely fast race car. I wouldn't be surprised, especially to see him kind of carry over that momentum from the NHRA race in Virginia. Y you give a guy, you give him a taste. And it, it, it can be a difference maker, right? When you have that breakthrough moment, you start turning on wind lights and you can't stop. And I, I, it would be cool to see J.R. Carr, someone who's contributed a lot to the health and wellness of Mountain Motor Pro Stock. It would be fantastic to see him have success, some success and be rewarded. Um, man, there's, I think Mountain Motor Pro Stock is as fun of a class as exists right now. What's your pick? Uh, I think I'm yeah. going to pick Tony Gillig. Oh, nice um, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying nice to confirm pick. whether or not my dad and the Buck brothers racing team, uh, are going to make it. The car is being finished up out at J, uh, junior wards, so Tony's driving uh, shop. No, no, no. Tony's, Tony's junior driving. ward is going to drive junior the Buck ward, brothers yeah. racing ca cavalier. Um, I believe he's GM over at Sonny's racing engines, uh, after the, the passing of Sonny Leonard earlier, uh, or late last year, I guess. So right? you got Wasn't stipulations it? on your pick. Yeah. Well, if my dad shows up, I'm going to bet on my dad's stuff. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> but if my dad doesn't show up, they're they're all right now. John Monacalvo, Johnny Placino, all of Monday them. Monday morning race. J.R. Carr, Elijah Chris Morton. Powers, good, Elijah Morton. They are project. all laying awake at night hoping the Buck Brothers Cavalier doesn't come. <laughs> they all want to see that thing on a chassis jig forever. That's what they want. What they want is to see that car not in the mix. All night long. Because Isn't that right? yeah. the Buck Brothers racing team will be ready to, to do the deal all night long.